Hey everyone, it's Elliot here. So you know that super annoying iPhone lock to owner message? Yeah, that one that, that pops up when you're trying to set up a new device, but there's this iCloud activation lock stopping you. Man, I remember getting a secondhand iPad a while back and running into that exact problem. Frustrating, right? Well, in today's video, I've got your back. I'll be walking you through multiple ways to ditch that message. And the best part, they work not just for iPhones, but also iPads and Apple Watches. And trust me, all these tricks are on the up and up. No shady stuff. All right, let's dive in and get you sorted out. Disclaimer, keep in mind this info is for rightful owners who've forgotten their login details. We don't support illegal activities like hacking stolen devices. Stay lawful and respect others. Our video follows YouTube's rules. Now let's get started, diving into the services. You know, a buddy of mine once got an old iPhone from a garage sale only to realize it had that pesky locked to owner message. That's when we started digging around for solutions. So if you've stumbled into similar situations, there are a few services that folks generally rave about. First up, there's iUnlock app. My friend swears by it, then you got safe unlocks. Heard a lot of good things about it from different online communities. Lock to owner has also been a game changer for many. And last, but definitely not least, is Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This one's pretty cool because it uses some fancy AI magic to do its thing. Remember, this chat is just to spread knowledge, not to make you choose one over the other. I'm all about giving you the tools and letting you decide what's best. Now stick around, because next, we're gonna dive into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Stay tuned. It's important to note that these unlock services work best in first world countries. If for some reason you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. Every week, we're offering 250 unlocks for our dedicated viewers. Here's what you need to do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment below with your device model, for example, iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered. Super simple, right? So go ahead and make sure you're in the running for those unlocks. All right, let's dive straight into the unlocking process using unlockhere.com. Here's what you gotta do. Head over to unlockhere.com on your phone or computer. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to tackle that pesky iCloud unlock. Just click on activation lock. Now, most of you will have iPhones. Choose that option. But if you're rocking an iPad or Apple Watch, they've got options for those too. Next, you'll need to input either your IMEI or serial number. If you're thinking, what's that? Let me explain. All iPhones come with an IMEI, so if you're unlocking one of those, pick IMEI. iPads and Apple Watches can be a tad different. If they've got a SIM card slot, they'll have an IMEI. If not, they'll just have a serial number. To find these, simply press the sleep button on your lock device, hit it once more, and tap the I on the bottom right. Boom, there's your device info. All right, uh, moving on, you'll need to pop in the IMEI or the serial number here. I'll be unlocking an iPhone, so I'm using the IMEI. Then put in some basic details. This is just so they can attach the order to your account. Make sure this info is legit because uh, you're gonna get a confirmation code sent to your email. Tick the box saying you agree to the terms and of course confirm that you are not trying any funny business with a stolen device. Then of course don't forget to solve the CAPTCHA, just making sure you are not a robot. Then hit start process. Quick side note, once you've hit that button, you'll get an email with the confirmation code. Sometimes it might sneak into your spam or junk, so give those a quick look if you can't find it. Got the code? Great. Quickly return to the Unlock Here website. Now pop in the verification code and confirm you're not a robot. After that, tap the button to validate info and start unlocking. Magic is happening in the background and your device is on its way to being unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. 
next up is asking Apple. All right, let's break down a couple of ways you can tackle that lock. Contacting Apple support with the original invoice. First, make sure you have the original purchase invoice of your device. This is super important since Apple will need it as proof of ownership. Head over to the Apple support website or give them a call. Explain your situation. Tell them you got a device that's locked and you've forgotten the details or whatever the reason might be. They'll ask for the invoice, send it to them. Once they verify everything's legit, they'll help you with the unlocking process. It's pretty straightforward, but patience is key. Another is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. If you think you just messed up your Apple ID password or something, this method's for you. Go to iforgot.apple.com. Enter your Apple ID email address. Follow the on-screen prompts. You might be asked security questions, get an email link, or even a text, depending on what recovery options you set. Once done, you'll be able to reset your password. With your new password, try accessing your device. And voila, two potential paths to get back into your device. But if neither of these works for you, don't stress. Up next is using iCloud Unlock software. This tool can be a lifesaver, but there's a catch. You need a Windows computer to use it. So if you don't have one, this might not be for you. To kick things off with iCloud, unlock software, find the right software. There's a bunch out there, but not all of them do the trick. Some might not work at all, so it's a bit of a hunt. Safety first, always. Always be careful when downloading stuff. There are some shady softwares out there with malware. You don't want any nasty surprises on your computer. Now, if you're not too keen on downloads, especially with the risks, there's an alternative. Online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks can do the job without any downloads. Just head to their website and they guide you through the process. Super simple and safe. But hey, if neither of these sounds right for you, keep watching. All right, diving into another method to break free from that iPhone lock to owner message. If you've got a seller who's quick on the reply, lucky you, this is a super handy route to take. Here's a neat alternative. If the seller's still around and responsive, ask them to head over to iCloud.com. They'll need to punch in their iCloud details to log in. There's an option called Find iPhone. Have them click that. It's where they'll spot the device. That's got you stuck. Once they've clicked on the device, there's an erase option. This is gonna do a reset, wiping the slate clean. But we're not done yet. To make sure their device doesn't play hide and seek with you again, they need to hit remove from account. This little step is like magic. It's what gets your iPhone back to its full groove. So if your seller's still in the picture and is happy to help, this method is golden. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for staying till the end and we hope you got what you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.